tonight we have a terminal world news and we have the pack art so I want to go over that first as we can see we have the four decks in this actual set we have ice barrier infernoid tonight's reveal being gen x and a later reveal being ritual beast because that is an older version of Lara. so let's get into the cards as we have a total of four of them like the other two decks and honestly all the cards are really good so let's get into it and let's see what they have first up we have real gen x undyne it is a watcher level four effect monster with 1700 attack and 1100 defense once per turn you can banish one gen x monster from your graveyard this card's attribute becomes the same as the banished monsters, then if you banished a tuner monster, you can also treat this card as a tuner until the end of the turn. If you troll a Gen X Synchro monster, you can target two Gen X monsters in your graveyard, including this card. Add them to your hand, but for the rest of the turn, cards sent to your graveyard are banished instead. Overall, a very interesting card for Gen X, and I cannot wait to see what the others do, but this is actually a very good start since it's actually supposed to help the deck and I really think this is going to help the deck in the long run. Now I'm going to be saving the best for last because there is a Synchro and a Link monster but let's get to the other monster in the whole entire support and this one being Real Genix Turning. This is going to be a useful card for the deck because it's a Dark Spellcaster level 2 effect tuner monster with 600 attack and defense. You can only use the following effect 1 from this card with this name once per turn. During a pump's main phase, if you control a Gen X monster, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand, then you can immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one Gen X synchro monster. If this card on the field would be used as a synchro material for the summon of a Gen X synchro monster, you could treat this card as a level 1 or 3. Another card to help out the whole Gen X deck, and this is actually a very very good card, because it can modulate its level f between 1, 2, and 3 for a synchro summon during your opponent's turn, which could be very useful if you're summoning out things like their synchro monsters or any other r relatively useful Gen X monsters. But really, being able to only synchro into Gen X monsters are fast, eh, fairly good. So next up on our list we have a new Synchro Monster and this is actually Ally of Gen X Zero Return or Arms of Gen X Return Zero. It's a dark level 10 machine Synchro effect monster with 3100 attack and 2900 defense and the materials are one dark tuner plus one or more tuner monsters or non-tuner monsters. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, banish one monster with the same attribute as that monster from your graveyard negate the activation and if you do destroy that card. Also for the rest of your turn you cannot banish monsters with the same attribute to the activated effect of this of cards with this card's name. So it's an access code talker but for negates that you can have up to six negates that's very interesting and once per turn you can target up to six of your Gen X monsters that are banished and are in your graveyard with different attributes shuffle them into the deck then you can destroy cards in the spell and trap card zone up to the number of shuffled monsters. Being a beefy powerhouse like this card can come in handy, but honestly, I could definitely see players try to utilize this in anything with dark tuners. Maybe something like, uh, I don't know, Red Dragon Archfiend? Now finally, let's get to the last card. This is the card that I've been saving for last, and it is a brand new Link Monster being repaired Gen X controller. It is a dark Link 1 machine effect with 1200 attack in the arrows point left. The materials are one level 4 or lower Gen X monster. Very, very generic for a pure build. If this card is Link Summon, you can add one Gen X monster from your deck to your hand. And also, it does lock itself into special summoning itself once per turn. And the second effect, once per chain, if a Gen X Monsters is added to your hand, except by drawing it, you can immediately, after this effect resolves, normal summon one Gen X Monster from your hand. Also, for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck, except synchro summoning while using Gen X Tuner Monsters as synchro material. 
This card is absolutely broken with the downside that it you must use the um, Gen X tuners as synchro materials, but that's absolutely fine because that's what Gen X are supposed to be. But honestly, I wasn't expecting this support tonight. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, Gen X support, who would have thought 2023 is definitely an interesting year. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. I hope you guys did enjoy, and see you guys in the next video.